Guys, did you know Rilakkuma is actually not a bear? Did you know Rilakkuma is just a costume with a zip on it? There is someone living inside Rilakkuma. Japanese people, Rilakkuma is more popular than Winnie the Pooh, I must say. In this episode, we are visiting Rilakkuma Tea House in Arashiyama, located not far from the Bamboo Forest and the Togetsukyo Bridge. We've heard that it's an elegant place with delicious food, so we are looking forward to trying it and to see if it's true or not. So basically, we chose to go to Rilakkuma Cafe because it's cute and elegant. And as you know from other episodes, we like cute places. So Rilakkuma was created in 2003. When I was kids, it was my favorite characters. I had Rilakkuma pencil, Rilakkuma notebooks, and Rilakkuma towels. So this Rilakkuma Cafe is just not a simple cafe. It's actually a tea house. It's called like this on the website. The difference is it's, let's say, much more stylish. And in other cafe, you would see uh, big puppets everywhere to see next by, or more uh, cute design everywhere. Here is very sober, very elegant, and maybe there is just like white walls with dark woods and only this kind of decoration behind me. That's it. Okay, guys, for today, I chose some soba this buckwheat noodle but here is like tea flavor soba and duck meat it looks so delicious and it looks very kawaii guys look at this here you can see this is like taikon radish and it looks like the friend of rilakkuma korilakkuma very cute right what i can tell from the beginning it's like it looks cute and delicious at the same time. So I'm very surprised because maybe if you don't imagine, I'm not a huge fan of this type of place, of cafe. Okay, guys, itadakimasu. We have this daikon here. We have plenty of meat, duck meat. Yes, looks good. And I guess this is eggs. Yes, like kind of omelette. So. You can mix it all together. So first, I will just take the soba itself. So this is matcha soba. And I dip it into the sauce. Itadakimasu. That is very good. I can tell there is like a, a meat flavor stuck here. A little bit salty with vegetables inside it is surprisingly delicious yeah i would definitely say thumbs up here because you have the smoky flavor meat flavor matcha flavor which is if you don't know matcha a little bit bitter i think i would recommend this place more for a date that uh, a friday evening with male friends but yes i have to confess i love this food so usually, when there is this dashi here, the best to do is to put the daikon, the radish, oh, <laughs> the daikon, the radish, ah, I'm becoming messy. The best is to put the daikon, the radish, inside the soup. And after you dissolve, sorry for Rilakkuma. Now, we are going to explain about the Japanese cafe culture. So basically, you can see in this cafe, there is many adults. So normally, with this cute character, you would believe there is a lot of kids, but it is not the case. In this kind of cafe, Japanese people like to come for dates, for a good afternoon 
Yes, cafe culture is strong in Japan and it's a dedicated place to come with friends. Something also important to say is that there is no difference between young age and adult age in Japan. Maybe in Western culture there would be a specific product designed for kids such as cartoon or goods or toys or whatever but in Japan you will stay kawaii all your life and you like all the cuteness maybe to escape from the difficult world this is why this kind of cafe is popular uh, especially in Arashiyama which is a very touristy place where Japanese people dream to go there is a big difference between cafe and restaurant in Japan. Cafe is more like for the afternoon or morning. You would come here with friends and usually you would have a small meal and especially desserts. Women tend to love cafe a lot because it's cute, because it's adorable and because you can eat desserts. In Japan, men don't really like desserts. They prefer um, salty food. Basically, you would come alone to the restaurant and you would eat a big portion of meal and drink a little bit before meeting your friend at the bar or let's say izakaya. Guys, coming to this cafe, I thought you would honestly pay for the good looking food. But actually, it is delicious. So I just ordered dessert, shaved ice. So we already showed the different type of shaved ice before, but this one is close to the original version. This kakigori is composed of a scoop of strawberry ice cream, shaved ice with pink strawberry syrup, a layer of whipped cream, and sweet jelly at the bottom. Let's try it. Hmm. Very sweet, mm. To compare with Espuma Kagori we had in the last mm -hmm. episode, I would say it's very sweet. Probably, I don't know, artificial syrup? Mm. Probably. Artificial mm. syrup. Mm. But it's very good. Mm. Compared to matcha kakigori, it's very, very sweet. But it's so cute. And also you can see Korirakuma. So last time we had uh, Espuma Kakigori. And that mm. one uh, had the texture of snowball. Texture of snowball. Uh, snow, uh, taste of snowball. But this one? Texture of snowball. Texture of snowball. The last one had taste of snowball. A texture of snowball? <gasps> it's okay. <laughs> The last time we had Espuma Kakigori. The last one had texture of snowball. I thought first this is ice cream, but it's not ice cream, it's marshmallow. We are going to finish this episode while enjoying dessert. Please let us know what type of character you like.